slaves to call those who had been invited to the wedding feast. But they were unwilling to come. So again, he sent out other slaves saying, tell those who have been invited, behold, I have prepared my dinner and my oxen and my fat livestock are all butchered and everything is ready. Please come to the wedding feast. But they paid no attention, and they went their way, one to his own farm, another to his business, and the rest seized his slaves and mistreated them, killed them. Then the king was enraged. He sent his armies and destroyed those murderers and set their city on fire. Then he said to his slaves, the wedding is ready. But those who were invited, they were not worthy. So go now to the main highways, and as many as you find there, invite to the wedding feast. Those slaves went out into the streets and gathered together all they found, both evil and good. And the wedding hall was filled with dinner guests. But then the king came. He came in to look over the dinner guests, and he saw a man there who was not dressed in wedding clothes. And he said to him, Friend, how did you come in here without wedding clothes? And the man was speechless. The king said to the servants, Bind him, hand and foot, throw him into the outer darkness. At that place there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth, for many are called, but few are chosen. I've counted the cost, I counted all his loss, for the sake of knowing you. I peer my hands away from earthly things, gotta turn away my eyes from all these worthless things. I lay down honor and fame, I'm simply building my own name. Know that everything I do before you glory in your fame. I wanna have you build a castles out of sin, cause I know they won't stand. And the way can just pick up and come from your hand. When I would hang up, will be burned away. I lay it all down, that I would be found. 
Thank you.